Good evening on this increasingly hot, muggy, uh, with a cold front charging in from the west and northwest as a relatively strong early summer storm system shoots out of the Rockies, the spines of the Rockies, east through the Midwest and Great Lakes tonight, bringing in a much needed cold front, and it's going to set the stage for a beautiful, uh, seasonably uh, chilly or seasonably nice mid -su early summer mid june by then late june temperatures but we have severe weather ongoing across west central iowa uh, approaching the illinois uh, the mississippi river or the illinois river as we like to call it uh in this part of the midwest and these storms are going to charge east with supercell thunderstorms and boacos uh, lots of hail lots of strong winds to 70 80 miles an hour and localized street flooding will all be possible. And you can see, we're gonna start with Dogecoin. You know what's going on with these targets. You can see we're getting a little bounce as I break up some hashish and a multa, right? No yayo, Vincenzo no like yayo, but he likes the multa and hashisha, right? As we break it out, you can see we're getting a little bounce in that green uh, support box. We bounce beautifully at 27 cents as we thought we could when we diagnosed and detected this green support box out uh, over the past few weeks, right? That's why it's here. We are not surprised that we're seeing a little bounce in that support box. And it just so happens, as you can see, as the price has moved at 30 cents, we have major resistance, right? You see that at 30 cents. And then if we clone that, we got major uh, support at about 25, 26 cents where we bounced. We'll get that targeted move out of now. You can see what we could do the rest of this evening is bounce to this upper support box and then get hammered back down and then start working down because these moving averages, the green, the red, and the blue, the 200 to 150 respectively are downtrending. That's bearish, volume's crashing, except when there's big sell volume, that's bearish. So this might be what's going on the next 24 to 48 hours in Dogecoin. We'll keep a big eye, an update on this because we could crash at any moment because we know we're transitioning down from this box into this lightly traded area down to this major support down here in the green oh fuck, oh fuck zone on my way to the shit house, right? The, remember the red's the shit house. The green is uh-oh. And then we have a little bit of trading in here. The I better get my shit together or I'm going to the shit house. You can see we had a little bit there and a little bit right there. There's not a lot. I mean, there's really not a lot. That's why I don't even really have a box here because there's really not a lot of fucking trading. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is just fucking shithole. I mean, there's a little bit here we'll throw just because there is a little bit of trading. So we will add that in there. Right there, see that? I mean, it's actually down a little bit lower. It's like right there, see that? That little bit of trading in there. Doesn't seem like a lot, because it's not, but it's enough to try to get a bounce when we get down into this range. You see there's about a 30% range there, but in between this box and the green box, right? There's a huge fall. I mean, you're talking 40% in between boxes, fuck. You're talking 40% in between boxes and then down here, this is where we gotta put the lock on right here. In between that box and then we gotta lock this or this shit just gets moved, lock and then lock. So that's a big 40% move in between the uh-oh into the oh shit warning box. And then from the oh shit, I'm going, I better get my shit together going to the shit house. It's another huge collapse of 31%. And um, we're going to keep an eye on this because you can see as it rotated through these boxes, see all this trading that it had back here on its way up in these boxes. That's why we have it highlighted because... I mean, it could even be brought down a little bit more. Because there is. Come on. I forgot I locked it. Oh, 
whatever, I'm not moving it no more, fuck it. You can see, it's no surprise that we're getting some trading in here and all, you know what I mean? Because there was trading back there. So we know there's going to be trading in here. But as soon as we break that decisively, which the next time we come down here, it's probably going to break decisively. And you were just breaking the wall down there. So the next time you retest this, it's probably going to break very fast. So we'll put a little, another Vincenzo, let's go crypto investing, watch out now for when it breaks, comes back and retests that, it's probably going to break it fairly quickly in Dogecoin. And we know, come on. delete some of this off we know the next time it comes down there it's going to be very critical so that's our watch and our target is going to fall very fast down to that upper support box of the oh i better get my shit together um down at about 15 cents and if we look at the radar we can see that cold front that i was talking about and super cell thunderstorms along this dry line and cold front that's pushed out into the plains have fired off severe weather in eastern and central Nebraska, um, eastern and central Iowa, moving in very close um, to the Illinois River and approaching central, the western parts of central Illinois, the Davenport, look out, uh, Dub Quinn and Rockford, these are moving east and south. Um, these supercell thunderstorms are moving off to the east. And I'm over here in Bloomington. You can see in the great state of Michigan, we have severe weather. But the cold front has sagged right along the I-94 quarter from Kalamazoo to Detroit. So north of this boundary, I would expect less in the way of severe weather, even though, yes, there is a risk. You have a severe thunderstorm watch out in Lansing, uh, Macomb County, Flint, Genesee County, uh, St. Clair County, Port Huron, Grand Rapids, right? But you see a warning here, but you notice as it gets lifted over this cold front, the storms start to lose some of their intensity because the moisture in the unstable air is south of this front. So the airport in south towards Toledo, I'd be more worried about severe weather. North of this front, I'd be more worried about heavy rain and some uh, brief gusty wind and some lightning and maybe some small hail, but less in the way of severe weather. Now where I'm at, I'm in between severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm watch, and the cold front that's going to trigger uh, this severe weather. As you can see, it, the sunshine has come out after cloud cover early to mid-afternoon the last several hours we've had nothing but sunshine and it's popped the temperature near 90 with a dew point near 70 um so this it's it's readily available it's just waiting for the atmosphere to get mixed in these storms and this cold front will do the dirty work and uh will lead to a crazy wild i expect widespread severe thunderstorm watches to be put up here in the next few hours in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area and then it'll ask after the severe weather and storms move by with the cold front, you can see just East Lincoln, you can see 78 degrees versus uh, 80, well, it's rain, 83, right? Hot, sticky, and muggy. But it's going to be a nice, beautiful rest of the week after the severe weather moves through in the cold front. And as you can see in the seven day forecast in Detroit that I'll be going back home to next week, very nice tomorrow, 75, 66, 73. That's beautiful early summer weather by now uh mid mid late june and you can see bloomington metropolitan area beautiful 69 degrees tomorrow i'm very excited for that i can't even believe i'm seeing that it's going to be hoodie weather beautiful 73 the next day in 78 is just gorgeous after the horrible week we had last week with the very hot weather uh and the very uncomfortable weather oh yeah then you can see we changed and we have a crypto page now so when we look through here it's all crypto we can see we have a gold silver's commodity section so when we come on here i'm still getting off the mischief we have our gold and silver and none of the other nonsense and then in here we have our dow our nasdaq our 10-year bonds and all of our major um u.s stocks amazon google microsoft tesla apple facebook twitter and then i'll add more as you guys ask bitcoin you can see it's the futures markets open then it's starting down it's in this bearish consolidation pattern in this green support box right and we know after this green support box um we don't really have much 
trading in between that 